Robert, how was camp with Julia? And tell me about like the chemistry between you two. You know, camp went good. You know, uh, camp went better than I expected. Uh, when he first came to me, everybody was warning me, "You're gonna have trouble." You know, he doesn't like to train. He's lazy. He's this. He's that. The dad's gonna give you problems. And it's been totally the opposite, man. You know, the dad hasn't given me one single problem. Julio's followed instructions, followed everything he's supposed to do. So I'm very pleased with training camp. What, how do you expect Reyes to be fighting on Saturday? What type of fight? Look, I, I really don't know. You know, Reyes also has a great trainer behind him. Nacho Beristan is a great trainer. So I don't, I don't know what kind of uh, game plan or strategy Nacho is coming up with, but I'm prepared for whatever they, they come and, and do. You know, uh, Reyes is, is, is dedicated, very strong, and this is the opportunity of his life. So I'm sure he, he trained like never before. So I expect uh, not an easy fight. I expect a, a tough fight, but... Uh, but, uh, you know, with the work that we did, I'm, I, I'm very confident that the fight's going to go our way. You don't predict the knockouts? You know what? I, I don't like predicting knockouts, but it, it's going to be an interesting fight. And, uh, and the fight should, uh, should, if it goes the distance, it'll be a good 10 rounds. And if, it goes, and if, we, if we win early, then, you know, we, uh, we'll be happy. You know, we'll the be fight happy is only win. 10 rounds? It's a 10-rounder. Okay. And um, what, what you said that... Chavez would fight for, you know, just normal uh, fights. N nobody too big, nobody too small, you know, mediocre, you know. Uh, but once he's done with those four fights, who are you looking for, for Chavez? Look, right now, we're talking about four fights. And we're, that, that four fights there, we're talking about at least a year. So one year from now, honestly, I don't even know who's going to be there, you know. Right now, we could mention the Underworlds, the Triple Gs, or whoever you know but in, in one year nobody knows nobody knows where where triple g is going to be nobody knows where andrew war is going to be so right now i i can't even mention names like that because because uh, i'm focused on the next the next three or four fights that i that i want to work with julio what did you like about chavez's training uh, what did you see in him that are his strengths well you know chavez has always been a very very strong fighter physically you know he's got he's got a great team great power great heart so those are those are very important things in, in, in boxing so you know now the rest you know teaching him how to move his head and use the jab it's my job and, and he's been following instructions so you know I'm very happy he loves he loves to train man when he's in my gym there's not one single day that he doesn't train at least at least for two hours what's two hours two and a half hours what sparring partners did you have for him we, we had four different sparring partners uh, local kids from my gym you know kids that helped him out uh, that are doing really good uh, in their career also but uh, you know they uh, they were great you know those kids. We had four, and uh, we used them all every day. They all did a great job.